Kenny here. What is it? Captain, I'm sorry to report that it will take us longer than expected to reach your position. I knew it. That's not all. You see, our ultra-long-range sensors have detected a Chrono spacecraft. Readings indicate it is scheduled to arrive before us. That's pretty terrible news. We wish you the best, sir. What do we do? There's not much we can do. We're sitting ducks once that ship gets here. Our only hope is that this expunction technique works and they give up on Relia. Then let's hurry. Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean 5. Last time, we realized that we probably should have the Sant rule because the only way to get uh, Kronos and their whole faction from going after Relia is to expunge her signets, which means to, like, get rid of them. So we made it over to Sant rule, but while we're here and before we go over to the um, Institute, I want to go ahead and, um, you know, check out the quest board, turn in any quests that I have, and get any kind of new quests. Oh, I already got that. Okay. Yeah, this is going much easier than I thought it would be. Oh, yeah, we need to get some of those. Uh, again, those drop from those tree guys over in the Rizulian Plains. Uh, where are they? West of the Eastern Eye Heads. Some named guy. Uh, north of the Eastern Eye Heads. Oh, okay, so... The second volume of the Solar Signets, you can pretty much find in treasure chests. Um, but the problem with that is there aren't that many of them. You can make it with authoring, but that's kind of a pain. So we'll see. That you can make with item creation as well. And these roses, I believe that you can find in the Northern Soma region, I'm pretty sure. Oh, awesome. So let's check out our specialties. And speaking of specialties, the, the, uh, the thing that I'm really trying to get up right now is ornamentation, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Basically, what that does is you can use items and you can um, enhance various pieces of equipment that you already have. But anyway, let's look at familiar as well. Send a bunny familiar on an errand. Okay, we'll check it out. Why not? <laughs> kind of cute. Okay, so I guess you can purchase blueberries or blackberries from them and probably more stuff. Um... As the skill level goes up, I'm probably not going to invest like any points into that because ugh, who cares. But um, speaking of ornamentation, whenever you do um, use it, let's see, or augmentation or whatever it is, basically you would select a base equipment such as um, the healing band or the fairy band, which are amazing, and you get those from the black holes at this point. You can get the healing band from the black hole in the Soma region, the fairy band from the black hole in the Tricor Desert. And um, you can then select various materials, and depending on the materials that you choose, it enhances the stats of those accessories. So once I um, get my augmentation level up, I'm going to be doing that more with accessories that I'm actually going to be using. But I'm really not using that many accessories right now, because most accessories in this game suck! So let's head on in here. Something that I noticed in all this private actions, to me, it seemed like... Oh, hey. Ion? No, that's a different game. Cassius, we need to use the expunction device. What are you doing? Hold on a second. No time. Stop right there. You can't physically use it. What do you mean we can't? It's not functioning at the moment. We're still trying to determine the optimal way to fix it. Why did it have to break now of all times? If you're in a hurry, might I suggest using the one in the Ancient Institute instead? There's one there? Of course. Most of the devices here are reproductions of ones in the Ancient Institute. <sighs> Thanks a bunch, Cassius. I love you. Come on, we need to make for the Ancient Institute. We've got no other recourse, I guess. Let's book it. Okay, and uh, to get there, you go north of the Eastern Eye Head, so I'm just going to meet you over in uh, that area. This is Kenny. I have an update, sir. The Chrono ship has just entered Fakery 4's orbital trajectory. What? I hope we make it in time. Do you think you'll be all right, Captain? I'll contact you later. So as I was saying before, it just seemed to me as if, like, the real you that we have now isn't like the realia that we had last time. She's like saying different words, she doesn't remember people, she doesn't really know what's going on, she has no emotion, she's not happy, she doesn't know how to sing. She's just different. I don't really know what else to say about her, except that I think we got the wrong girl. What's going on here? 
I guess we have no choice. I wouldn't. Who's that? General Alma. As part of Kronos' militant faction, he tops the galaxy's most wanted list. How kind for someone of his stature to greet us. So, he's behind all this. Fidel! Relia? But how can that be? Sis! What? Relia! Did she say sis? Are you too imbecilic to realize the instrument you have is not Relia? What? The one in your possession is Feria, and it is the foundation upon which Kronos is to build its new world order. It also differs from the unit you hold so much extraneous affection for. Thus, I doubt you will mind returning it. Why is a famous general fighting in the galactic equivalent of some backwoods Hicks family feud? Interesting question. I could ask the same of you, Captain Kenny. Oh, just how do you expect to save Little Miss Starlight from all these heavily armored troops? If all the reports I have received on you are correct, well, I believe your name is Fidel. So, Fidel, if you possess even a modicum of sympathy for that thing, stand right there and don't move. Retrieve Faria for me. Vicky! I know that light. Activate the neutralization device! I've gotta say, the general's kinda hot for, uh, like a weird-ass undead evil guy. So, the boy is the catalyst after all. Fascinating. With some modifications, we should be able to draw even more power from her. Bring her here! Nice leotard guy. <laughs> we'll be taking Feria with us. Thank you for holding on to her, Fidel. Due to your act of kindness, we were able to collect precisely the data we needed. <laughs> Take us away. Really? Damn it. Oh, well that's unfortunate now that he's gone and can't admire his package anymore. Not that I should be talking about that, but eh, whatever. The Institute. They seem to have warped out. Now she's not even in the same sector as us. Isn't there something we can do to save Relia? Anything at all? We'd have to get our ship back before we could do anything else. And how long will it take for you to get it back? It's scheduled to arrive in a day at the earliest, but we'll likely arrive in two. Then all we can do is wait. Wait. This is a problem between the Federation and Kronos. There's no need for you Fakridians to get involved. It's too late for that. Don't take it the wrong way. She was thinking of your well-being when she said that. If you come with us, then... If we go with you? Then... You may never be able to return to this planet again. Even if we do save Rilia. We might never see our home again? <sighs> if you wish to join us, be prepared for that eventuality. Those of you who remain undeterred can assemble in Santa Roll. Understood. Okay. You've already made up your mind, haven't you, Fidley? Yeah. I'll always follow your lead, wherever you take us. Maybe it'd be a good idea to return to Stahl first. I'll let you choose the way. Kenny here. Captain, our vessel will be arriving in Fake Creed 4 Sector in approximately 17 hours from now. Contact me again once you enter orbit. Do you think Fidel and the others will come? What would you do in my shoes? Would you be so eager to conduct research in an unknown land if it meant possibly throwing everything away and never coming home? 
I bet you would. That's why you're not here now. If a true researcher somehow dropped a valuable piece of evidence into a bottomless pit, he'd jump right in after it without thinking a whit about his own safety. <laughs> right? What a poor excuse. I wonder if he believes it. As a central Rasulian officer, I have a responsibility to care for my subordinates and protect the country from harm. It would be wrong to forget that. On the other hand, what of Fidel? I can't in good conscience abandon my mentor's own son. Please, Master. I need your guidance. What would you do in my shoes? Fiddly, you do... ...recall when you guys... ...took me in, right? Yeah. So many were killed. Like Papa and Mama and more. Not to forget your own mom. Because that wicked illness... ...beset our little town. It was disastrous. I know I was certainly at wit's end. But then you said... These words. I'll take care of you like kin. Dry those tears, right? Stop that blushing here. <laughs> <laughs> my dad was always in other lands. Meaning my world lacked structure. I bet taking care of you is why... I'm still here today. You think so? <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> <laughs> we're no longer... little kids now. No, we're not. Well then... Can we, uh... Sorta, kinda... I don't want to stay your sister any longer. Well then, I'll stop being a big brother to you. Then can I call you Fidel now? Works for me. All right, Fidel. Here on out, I won't allow any people to hurt you. I should, I should say that, not you. So we don't have to suffer through any more annoying fiddlies or anything else like that? That's kind of nice. Although I must say, Fidel could do better. Not to say that he should get with, like, Fiori or anything, because she's a frickin' hooker whore. But, um, yeah. Anybody else besides this girl. She's just so... I don't know. I don't know, just something about her. I just don't like Miki. She's just kind of annoying to me, but, eh. A lot of women characters in JRPGs are annoying to Let's me. Let's go. Our pals will want us back soon. I guess he could get with Anne. I mean, she's not that bad when she's not crying about her frickin' cat every five seconds. So, now our goal is to head back to Santorul AGAIN. Thanks, Star Ocean 5. So, yeah. I'm probably gonna head back there off-screen, and then next time on Let's Play Star Ocean 5, we're gonna see about saving Relia. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.